This video is about how to add automatic retry logic to an invoke activity in Oracle Integration 3. So as part of the new features added in OIC 325.04 release, integration developers can now easily add retry logic around an invoke activity at design time. So how this actually works? Right. So when you click on the add retry logic option, which is now available to you against the invoke action, what happens is that your invoke action and its map action are placed inside a while loop with a default settings about number of retries and the time between retries uh, for it. Uh, so before we get into the demo, a few other details about this new feature. This is available only if the integrations are inside projects. Um, the number of retries and the time between retries are automatically configured for you, as I mentioned, but of course you can change those values as per your need. Uh, now another thing is that all the faults from your invoke activities are currently included as part of this uh, retry which means whenever any fault is generated for your invoke action the retry logic will get executed you cannot really pick and choose that for which fault you want to do the retry and which fault you don't so that option is not there with this uh, default uh, retry and then uh, retry logic can be added to as many invoke connections in your integrations but just to keep in mind that during execution there's a wait time that being added uh, between every retry right so that will add up to the overall completion time or the execution time for the integration flow so this should be considered diligently during design time that where and how much retry you want to add. So um, I am here in the OIC console now uh, inside the project and I will add a retry in this particular integration. Uh, so what I have in this integration is that I already have an invoke uh, activity. It basically um, calls a ATP database and it queries a particular table to fetch the employee data from that table. And what I want to do for this demo is like assuming that for some reason uh, during the execution, this particular invoke fails. I want to do retry for this invoke, right? So clicking over here and doing the add retry logic. Let's do a add. Let's see what happened. A bunch of stuff got added, right? So let's take a look. So here, as you see, my original invoke action, which was to query the employee data and the map action for that has been placed inside this main flow under the while loop, right? And there is also a fault handler that has been uh, added for this particular invoke. So, and there is another assign that has been added outside this while loop, which has uh, variables that controls the loops logic. So let's start by taking a look at this assign. Uh, so a counter variable has been initialized with one. Uh, the retry has been set to true. And then these are the values for how many retry the retry count. The default is three and the wet in second between the retries, the default is five seconds, right? So let me try to change that. I want to do the retry two times and I want to wait 10 seconds between the two retries, right? So, okay. Um, and now what else uh, is there? So there is another assign 
and if you see over here uh, so the retry is being set to false in here right because of course if the invoke has successfully been executed we don't want to do a retry so we are setting uh, the retry to false in our happy path and if you see look at the while loop of course the while loops logic it's best on this particular value right we retry is to set to true so as long as it is true the loop will execute and in the fault handler what happens so the invoke got a fault so the flow comes into the fault handler uh, we are updating the counter variable by one to keep track how many times to try the retry and also we are adding a weight and the weight will wait as many seconds that we have initialized in the outside variable right so this is all um, that gets added and this is how it will um, handle any fault and do the retry so let's save it and try to run it right uh, so I have made some changes in the backend uh, to make sure that for the sake of this demo, when the integration runs for the first time, um, the invoke will fail, it will get into a fault and maybe during the second time, it will be able to execute um, during the retry, right? Okay, so let's run this integration here so it will take um, a while of course right to complete because I have introduced 10 seconds of delay so if you see uh, the while loop it has run for two times right two iterations and let's see how it goes so as expected the first iteration it has failed if you see the invoke got a fault and that's why it has tried again so for the second iteration it has tried the same invoke again uh, and this time it is successful and since it is successful it comes out of the loop and does not try the second retry again right it has just tried the retry once and since it is successful it comes out and gives back the result with the status of 200 that's all i wanted to show in this video thanks for watching